Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Gonzalez from ECGDT.com and we'll see why it's very useful the Composite Position Tolerance application, which is this feature control frame with double row but single geometric control, which is kind of scary when people see it on drawings, but it's better than single position tolerance in some cases. Let's see it on a real life example. Here we have an assembly of a large plate and a box on it. The assembly is made with four bolts and nuts. And here is the drawing for the large plate. It has defined the hole's location with positional tolerance against datums A, B and C. The amount of position tolerance should be calculated, not guessed, as many times is done. As explained in our GDNT Intermediate Level Course Section 3, here should be used the floating fastener formula, which basically is to find the amount of clearance of the bolted joint at MMC. In this case, the MMC of the hole is 0.271 and 0.250 for the bolt, which give us a 0.021 positional tolerance as maximum value to ensure the assembly at all cases so 0.020 is selected as a final value. So let's say some plates have been manufactured and one of them has 0.400 out of positional tolerance and it's supposed not to be able to assemble, but it does when they put one of the boxes on it. So what may be happening is that the four holes are out of tolerance against the plate because the datums are on the plate edges, but they are inside of the 0.020 tolerance between each other. So that's functional, that's ok, the part should be accepted. Because at the end, as in many applications, the box location is not as important as the host locations against each other in terms of position tolerance amount. How could that be indicated on the drawing? For that purpose, a composite position tolerance can be used. It features two rows, one for the location of the pattern and one for the location of the features between each other, in this case the holes. So in this way, we can set two tolerances for the whole pattern and allow it to have a large amount of tolerance for the location of the box, in this case of 0.400 and a smaller tolerance for the holes between each other of 0.020. With this indication, it's allowed to have a large position tolerance for the pattern as long as the four holes move together in the same direction. So don't be afraid when you see a composite position tolerance, and neither to use it. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions below and go to ecgdt.com for more information about courses and free material.